Speaking of cute animals, not that long ago, the only way the vet could take a look at what's inside or what's happening to your animal was with anesthesia. They had to put them under the knife, but now there are other ways to diagnose uh, some of the things that might be going wrong, some non-invasive techniques that every pet lover needs to know about. And boy, have times changed. Welcome from the new Cornell University Veterinarian Specialist Facility in Stanford. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, internist, a Dr. Foreman, and surgeon, Dr. Kramer. We are so happy to have you and the wonderful and lucky little lady who was adopted by the doctor, really adorable. What is available and what are some of the ailments uh, that can, that the techniques would be used for? The main things that we're talking about here is different techniques that we can do to try to avoid a major surgery, but still accomplish important things inside the body. Um, so minimally invasive diagnostics and uh, therapeutics involve making tiny little incisions, either to look inside the joint or look inside the belly, and using uh, very advanced type of equipment and cameras to visualize inside the belly and in many circumstances be able to fix problems inside. We used to make giant incisions you know, for joints and for abdomens and now we make tiny little incisions and, and pass through them tiny instruments and do everything through optics. So that obviously saves us on pain and complications afterwards. It's much more comfortable for the pet. Uh, we see better, we have magnification with these procedures, so we actually see the uh, problems much better in much more detail. For example, in that image that we're seeing here, there's a small tiny knife that is being passed through, through little ports and releasing a diseased uh, tendon within that joint. This is a loose fragment within the elbow. Everything is magnified, so it just looks huge, but if you think about it, these are tiny instruments. That metal instrument you're seeing there is about three millimeter in diameter, three to four millimeter in diameter and it, we, we can insert it through tiny holes and guide it with our camera to grab that bone fragment that is loose like a pebble in the shoe within that joint. And this is that, that fragment being removed. Wow. The other good advantage or benefit of a procedure like this is be able to get biopsies of organs deep inside the belly and be able to get an accurate diagnosis of what's wrong with the pet without requiring surgery. And let me just get to this photo because everybody's thinking this looks like a colonoscopy. I, I don't know. know if you do those on dogs yet, but... We do. Uh, oh, you yeah. do? Okay. He does. Yeah, we, we do frequently do a colonoscopy, but the picture you're looking at right now is looking down the windpipe, the trachea. And what's going on in this pet, this is a young little pug um, that has a condition called the collapsing trachea, where the trachea was collapsing in on itself and the dog couldn't breathe. And I inserted this device, it's called the metal stent, into the trachea to keep it open, make sure it's patent so the patient could breathe. Wow, and I understand a lot that you deal with also is, as you see it, maybe pets swallowing things. Correct, especially this time of year, we see lots of pets that will swallow fish hooks. They'll go out fishing wow. with their dad and inadvertently swallow a fish that has a fish hook in it. So we can take that out without surgery, just passing cameras down their throat. The other things that we remove are pennies. Wow. I've removed a gold ring, a wedding band, and uh, uh, diamond earrings. Lots of things, amazing things that pets will eat. And I know uh, some of the other things that, that, that this helps with, let's talk about some of those conditions. A big one, especially in the summer, is bloat. And for bigger dogs, and I have a bigger dog, so that is a big concern to me. Yeah, one of the uh, great benefits of laparoscopy is if we can do a prophylactic gastropexy, i.e. It is, it is a procedure in which we prophylactically tack the, uh, the stomach to the abdominal wall to prevent that twisting that may occur in these big dogs. Um, it's a great procedure. Um, it's minimally invasive, small incisions, and it truly protects these animals. So breeds that are predisposed, all the big deep, deep chested breeds, Great Danes, Bouviers, right. um, they all are prone to developing this, this condition, especially in hot days when they're very active. Um, we can prevent that by prophylactically doing this procedure, which is a half an hour procedure. And you're open 24-7. 24-7, and we have multiple specialties. Dr. Kramer's surgery, I'm internal medicine. We also have critical care, oncology, and cardiology. And you also offer some wonderful educational uh, sessions and programs, uh, which folks can find out by logging onto your website, www.cuvs.org. So thank you both so much for being here. Thank and you. And your lovely little lady. <laughs> A true example of why we should adopt. We'll be right back.